Stakeholders have called on the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to remove all administrative impediments to collections of permanent voter cards ongoing across the country. They gave this recommendation while briefing newsmen on the ongoing exercise in Lagos. Our correspondent, Emmanuel Olubobokun, tells us more. It started with our session between journalists on the Justice Development and Peace Center, and JDPC, and other organizations. They, these people are not responsible for their inability to collect the PVC. It lies at your doorstep. So it's held to discuss growing concerns by citizens' inability to collect their permanent voters' cards, PVCs. The stakeholders expressed worry that the January 29 deadline is approaching. Yet, eligible voters are unhappy despite frantic efforts. In a situation where somebody goes and waits for three, four, five hours and yet is not sure of his fate, if at the end of the day, by the time he you know, accesses the INEC office, he will be told that your PVC is not found. He has wasted five hours, he has wasted six hours, and he goes back. You know? And so if we are talking today about a lot of uncollected PVCs, like Ms. Mercury was talking about, it's a possibility that some of these people who own these PVCs have been there several times in the past and have given up. We can't say this enough. Um, they are doing a lot, but they need to do it more. They need to do... Uh, if, they, if INEC plays their role very well, I think uh, to a large extent we'll, have, we'll go into the elections with a lot more optimism. They, however, called for the extension of the deadline as over 3.5 million PVCs are still uncollected. Extension of the deadline for the collection of PVCs. I do not believe that 29th January is a feasible date, knowing that um, the, full, the full distribution of IM PVCs just came on board um, yesterday. And so you have barely four days from today for people to collect their PVC. So it's a short time. Extension is also part of the suggestions that we are giving to INEC for them to extend. And as they are extending, they are coming closer to the grassroots. They are coming closer to the people. You know, some local governments are far from the wards. While commending the commission for its efforts so far, they however appealed that more should be done to ensure collection of the cards at the ward level. They need to extend it. And they need to consider collection of PVCs by proxy. Uh, people can be traveling, the insecurity in the country. Uh, many students are going for NYSC for service. Um, some already have resumed academic sessions owing to the many months of strike. We don't expect them to all come back, especially if the schools um, have not allowed them to come back home to get their PVC. So what happens? At least from my neck themselves, about 3.5 million PVCs are uncollected. And many of that number will be young persons. This should be collected by proxies and all that. INEC can also come back to the wards. Yes. Because um, many PVCs were just, uh, have just been released. And if this, those PVCs are not collected, I don't know what we have done at the end of the day. The CSOs say the right to vote by eligible citizens is absolute and cannot be sacrificed for exigences. Emmanuel Ulubobokun, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.